this video we're going to look at creating snapshots of homerooms and grades and we're going to show you how you can add a student to a snapshot after that or how you can remove a student from a snapshot after that. I've already assigned homerooms and there is a separate video called assigning homerooms that shows you tips and tricks around this and I've sorted this by my homerooms here so you can see that it is sorted by homerooms. To make a snapshot of the entire homeroom, this is helpful for doing your attendance blocks later on, I can select each student in this homeroom by clicking each here, or I can use my filters to say I want to see homeroom 01 only. That has to be typed in correctly because if I type in 1, I'm not going to see my students in homeroom 01. So I've got these guys here. I'm looking at 16 students. This is important when you're doing this. Options and snapshots. And I can create a snapshot. And I've already created one for this one, um, but just as an example. For my school, I could call this one 01. If you wanted to call it by the teacher name, you could do that. Whatever you choose to do, make sure you have a cheat sheet of your snapshots because you're, you're going to use them later when you push kids into their various curricular courses and their attendance courses they need. So keep it simple and keep it straight. So let's just call this one 01. I'm going to hit a new. Name is going to be 01. You have some options as to whether you save it as a filter. If you save it as a filter, it would show up in the list here. So choose that wisely because you may or may not want to do that. And you can tell it to move to the top of the list if you save it as a filter. From here I'm going to hit save. And now I have a new snapshot called 01. And that's handy because if I ever want to look at just 01, I can do it, look at the snapshot. But since this is based on a homeroom, I can just use the filters homeroom, show me the homerooms. The reason why we want to do a snapshot of this is later on when we're in the schedule top tab and we're trying to assign all the students in this homeroom, we can't do it unfortunately by homeroom. You have to do it by a snapshot. So that does it for homeroom one. Now if you want to see everybody, change it back to all active students. You can, or you can sort by homeroom two. And I actually want to go a little bit further and try to find a homeroom here that is a split class because it's important that you do three snapshots for a split class. So I'm just trying to find a grade here that has three. It has two different grades. So homeroom 08 is a split class. So I'm just going to filter to 08. And I'm going to see that uh, I've got grade twos and grade threes in this class. So I want to make three snapshots. One, I want to make a snapshot of everyone in the room for my attendance sections. Then I'm going to make a snapshot for the grade twos and I'm going to make a snapshot for the grade threes. So I've got everybody here all ready to go. Options, snapshots. We're going to call this one 08. This will represent all the kids in homeroom 8. Now I'm going to create a snapshot called 08G2 for grade 2s and then one later for G3s. So to do this we need to select the kids that are going to go into this one. Do options, show selected, because we only want to create a snapshot of the students we have right in front of us. Options snapshots now. Just keep track of which one you're doing. So this is uh, 08 and G2. So new 08 G2. So I know that's kids in homeroom 08 and the grade 2 students specifically. Now to get back to the grade 3's I can use my filter to go back to homeroom 08 and I can just select my grade three. So select, show selected, options, show selected, options, snapshot, new snapshot, 08G3. 
and hit save. Now for this course I've got my three snapshots. I've got one for everyone, one for the grade twos, and one for the grade threes. Now if for some reason I needed to remove somebody later on or add somebody later on uh, to a snapshot, whatever the situation may be, you can, let me just go back to all of my students. You can select your student, whoever it may be, and then go to their snapshots. And this will show you the snapshots that they exist in. So this student exists in a snapshot called CMF02, is one I made previously. To remove it, you can go select, options, and delete. And that will remove the student out of that snapshot. Now, if you need to put them into a different snapshot, you can go options, add. Sorry, let's try that again. Options, add. So in the snapshots, options add, it goes right to your list of snapshots that you do have existing, and I can move them over into a different snapshot now. Um, you can put them into several if you needed to, for whatever reason. This does not change their courses. It doesn't change their homeroom. It just puts them into this snapshot that you could use later on for attendance purposes or course purposes or reporting purposes. Just to be clear, this is just putting them into a new snapshot. Hit OK, and now they'd be available if I pulled up that snapshot. So that covers creating snapshots, adding a student to a snapshot, and deleting a student from a snapshot.